Hi folks, Matthew here from Disaster Area Designs, doing a quick video covering something we get asked about in our support fairly often. If you have a C4 synth or another pedal that uses USB for its MIDI interface, and you have it connected to your DMC Micro Pro or your DMC Micro, the question we get asked is, how do you send signals from another larger controller, like a Morningstar, or a Source Audio Soul Man, or even one of our larger DMC controllers, through the DMC Micro and out to the C4? So today we're gonna cover that. So the first thing you're gonna need is a bunch of cables and controllers and whatnot. We're gonna need a C4. This one has been set to the recommended settings in the DMC Micro manual. We're gonna use our DMC Micro Pro. This also works with the DMC Micro, the LED version. Just make sure you're updated to the latest firmware revision from the website. You're gonna need a ghost adapter. This is our USB-A to Mini-B ghost adapter and a matching USB cable. So we're gonna plug the dongle end into the DMC and the cable end into the C4. We're gonna power on the DMC Micro, and we're gonna perform a special type of reset, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so we're powered on right now. Hold both buttons and enter setup, and then we're gonna go left to factory reset, hold the left button to enter, and then we're gonna go right until we hit C4. When we hit C4, we're gonna hold the left button, and that's gonna reset the Micro Pro. It's not gonna overwrite the presets, but it is gonna set up all the configuration stuff so that it works with the C4. So now, if we go in here, our A device should be Source Audio C4. And if we bypass, it should bypass. If we change presets, we should see this LED here at the top blinking, which we do. And if you listen to the output, you can hear that we've got different sounds. I've only got six presets in here, so that's all you'll be able to hear. Okay, now we're gonna make a couple more changes. So we're gonna enter setup again. And if you've done this factory reset, the controller might still be in the factory reset menu. Just tap left until you see back, and then hold left to exit. And now we're gonna go to MIDI through, and we're gonna set this to USB. And then we're also gonna to go to input channel, and we're gonna set this to something that we're not using. 16 is usually pretty safe, so we'll just set this to 16, and we'll hold left button to exit, and we'll hold the right button to save. Now we're gonna to need to get at the MIDI input on the DMC Micro. How do you do that? It's only got a five pin. It's just five pins, how do you do it? I don't know, well, here's how you do it. You need our MIDI Y cable. So this is a special cable that we sell that has a five pin on all three ends. This five pin connects to the DMC. This works on all the Gen 3 DMCs, DPC 5s, 6, 8, DMC 3XL, etc. And then it gives you two five pin connectors here. The one in black is the output and that goes to the next device. In this case, we're not using it. And the one with the red sleeve says input, and that's our MIDI input. So if we take that and we connect it to another MIDI device, say a DMC Micro here, we power that on. Now, the C4 is always gonna be MIDI channel one. It's unfortunately not, we're not able to assign that to a different channel. But if we go here to the A device on the DMC Micro or your external MIDI controller, So you guys may have noticed that the C4 just crashed and I'm gonna to explain to you why. The C4 really prefers to have its messages as MIDI CCs, so control change messages. This DMC is sending program changes. 
and that's why this crash. So what's, what happens when we change here is we send a program change and a control change pretty much right after one another. And the C4 doesn't really like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to tell it that device A is a C4. Hang on. go and device a is a c4 it's back here in the back c4 there we go and now the dmc micro will send it has the flat preset structure and it will send the correct messages without crashing so that's another thing to bear in mind. If you're using a C4 and you've got an external MIDI controller, check the MIDI manual for the C4. The commands are in the back, but I believe it's MIDI CC 103 and 104 are used for sending a new program along with a bypass. So that pretty much covers it. DMC Micro Pro and C4, these connect as normal. And then you go in and you set MIDI through to USB and make sure that the MIDI input channel is set to something other than off. If you set it to off, the MIDI through and MIDI input are disabled. Then on your external controller, do all your normal stuff and make sure you're sending MIDI CC messages to the C4 to change presets. Other USB devices, like for example, the Zoom Multistomp, they're more tolerant to program changes and don't have any issues, seem to be okay. So if you guys have any questions, please post them below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll have links to all the bits and pieces you need to make this setup happen down in the video description below. Thanks so much.